But for now, let's plod along. I can tell you now, it probably won't be too long before I need a break though, because uh, this game really stresses my voice box out. So I'll need to get some like tea with honey in or something, although we ran out of honey, so. That's it. I like horror movies. I'm waiting for a movie where a reindeer kills people. Dude, I haven't I haven't heard of one like that. My wife loves horror films. She likes the films. Well, we both like horror, but I have a hard time watching films, but games I'm perfectly fine with doing, but she's the reverse. So she'll watch a film and I'll kind of like listen to it and ask questions and she'll break it down. Um, and then she'll watch me play the games. So we've got this very like symbiotic kind of thing going. As I yawn for what must be a hundredth time, I give my neck and shoulders a good rub. They ache with a heavy dullness. I feel ya. I really do. I like to think that I can take more than your average Joe, but apparently even I'm worn out. Is Amy still asleep? It's already noon, but it looks like Amy hasn't moved since I brought her here. I'm sure she's just really tired, but... If this is more than just sleep, then I'll have to call a doctor. I got a text. Earlier I sent a message saying that Ami is safe. It's probably someone replying to that. Mm. Aminome doesn't hide his happiness. He also doesn't hide his shock when I tell him about what happened to Natsumi. Apparently Aminome is still under house arrest. There's no reply from Hazuki. She probably hasn't recovered yet. Ban just says that's great. Which is pretty much what I expect him to say. Rose is very interested in how I was able to save Ami from the mirror. I guess that's the sort of thing that would make a supernatural specialist like her interested. Always extremely worried about Ami's condition. She says she's got time this evening, so she'll swing by the black rabbit. I sent a text to Natsumi, who's still unconscious, in the hospital, so naturally there's no reply. She was the one who was the most desperate to get Ami back, so it sucks that she can't hear the news. Oh, she's awake. Ami, are you feeling okay? Yeah. Did you save me? Yeah, kinda. Relax, you're safe now. Big bro. Ami starts crying. Then she launches herself into my arms and breaks into sobbing. Thanks. She's just crying. So basically, just to catch you up, we're playing as delinquent, this delinquent, like, high school dropout guy who's like, an... An under, like this sounds kind of mad, but he's like an underground <laughs> fighting professional. Um, because he's got really high senses or um, something like that. But basically, he uh, I just get to a non black screen. His sister gets kidnapped, his younger sister there gets kidnapped by a very powerful spirit, and then he has to confront these other deadly spirits and to pacify them or else if he doesn't in time he will die or she will die and uh, we're, we're kind of in the last chapter and I've just been able to rescue her but the young girl's mother who is the main character's adopted mother uh, his, his aunt uh, she's now unconscious herself due to the same curse the main character was suffering from I reckon you play cops by it's a horror slasher game. Ending seems so horrifying. I actually, we we own, um, cops party. At some point, I might get to it. At some point, because it is very fucked up. For those of you who don't know, Are you okay now, Ami? Yeah. He wipes away her tears and grins. If she can smile, then she's probably all right. Hey, Ami, can you tell me what happened? If it's too hard for you, it can wait, but. No, it's fine. I can talk about it. Yeah, okay then. What do you want to know about? Oh, when you disappeared. What happened the night you had disappeared? You mean, what happened when we got back to your place after we almost got run over by a van? Oh, there it is. All oh, the reading of the text makes me yawn quite a lot. I heard a scream and rushed to the bathroom, but no one was there. Who you suddenly appeared in the mirror? I was shocked, and then she just dragged me in. Would Kikuyo abduct you? She said it was because I lost her game. Because I didn't give an offering to Yuri. Interesting. The blood metry scene in Ami's headphones I saw before. Yuri Takamura's, Takamura's voice asked Ami to offer her flowers. 
It's probably Kakui's doing. Do you want to know about something else? The Realm of the Dead. You were in the Realm of the Dead the whole time, yeah? What exactly is that place like? How should I put it? Amy tilts her head in thought. My head felt kind of fuzzy, like I couldn't ever really tell if I was awake or just dreaming. And I never got hungry, even though I never ate anything while I was there. That's not a lot of information. Sorry, big brother. I don't really understand it either. Do you want to know about something else? Kakuya, please. Is Kakuya always with you? No, not always, just sometimes. She'd talk with me and play with me. What'd she talk about? Uh, I think she only ever talked about you. Me? She asked me a bunch of questions. Like about your past hobbies, favorite games. I guess she was interested in me because I survived at games. Oh yeah, Ami. Did Kuyu say anything about NG? No, she never said anything about it. I was curious too, so I asked her, but she didn't tell me. Huh. Did she ever say anything else that caught your attention? Uh... The demon Tsukuyomi. Interesting. No, I never heard anything about it before. What is it? I don't know. I just remember Kakui talking about it. The demon Tsukuyomi. That was an ominous ring to it. Is it another spirit? Do you want to know about anything else? Now, there's everything I need for now. Based on her responses, Ami seems to be her normal self. I was worried she might have some effects from being in the realm of the dead, but I guess not. If that's the case, she can probably handle the news about Aunt Natsumi. I'll have to tell her at some point anyway, but I do it sooner rather than later. I respect that. I'm good when it comes to mystery games. Oh yeah, reindeer? I, I'm not sure if I am. <laughs> I'm kind of like this guy in a way. I'm like, uh, for lack of a better term, brawn of a brain. That's that's kind of my approach to situations. Hey, Ami, I've got to tell you something about Anatsumi. What about Mum? But that's kind of why I like him a bit, to be honest. Uh, just stay calm for this all right? She's in the hospital right now. Kui got her somehow while she was trying to save you. Yeah, I know. What, seriously? Yeah, Kakuya told me. Probably just scare me. <sighs> he likes... She looks like she's about to cry, but she's doing a good job of holding it in. She probably doesn't want to worry me. If I were all alone, I probably would have cried. But I have you, so I'm okay. Ami. Oh, so this guy, Seiji Amanome, he's one of the sons of, like, the Yakuza. Uh, he's not technically a part of the Yakuza because he's not quite old enough, but uh, he he's constantly like, pulling on strings and getting stuff sorted and threatening people like the Yakuza would. So basically, he might as well be a part of the Yakuza. And he's also best friends with the main character. Uh, how are things going? Well there. Looks like I put the brakes on your sibling reunion. When we come back later? I mean, I mean, what are you doing here? I want to play Danganronpa so that I can solve mysteries without being real. <laughs> Danganronpa is... I hear really good things. I've seen a bit of them. But they're really... Really heavy-handed with the text. Like, this... This has a lot of text because it's a visual novel. But it looks to me like Danganronpa has, like, even more... Mamba, I'm not into Danganronpa. Like I said, I've never played them right, plop, properly myself. Um, I've watched my wife play Virtue's Last Reward, which is like Danganronpa, but it's like very serious. It's not quite as bubbly as Danganronpa. Um, and that was really fun to watch, that. I think a part of what draws me to this one, other than the artwork is incredible, uh, is the tone of it like it's all like this gorgeously grotesque artwork so there was a piece of artwork i wouldn't mention it but we did see it briefly it's the torso of a man who's dead and decayed for i don't know how long and he's got the arms of these young women like stapled to his body and it's fucking horrible like contextually but it's as a piece of artwork it's ooh, so nice that's pink blood because it's style choice well, you know, I heard you saved Ami, so I couldn't just sit around. The pink blood, actually, um, let me show you. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So, let me make this bigger. 
So this is one of the shirt designs my wife made. We actually did kind of take the pink blood as an idea from Danganronpa because uh, we didn't quite want like, I guess like another color of the same shade of red kicking about and it to be like blatantly graphic. We want it to be like a very strong suggestion like Danganronpa. There you go. Oh, I need that up as well. Glad you're safe, Ami. Yeah, thanks. You helped my brother out, right, CG? Yeah, because your brother's a hopeless idiot sometimes. If I didn't rein him, him in every once in a while, he'd probably run straight off a cliff. You haven't changed a bit. Want me to sock you? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll give my wife a shout as well. There you go. She loves horror as well. If you like horror films, she doesn't really draw it on stream, but if you like horror films, I'm sure she'd love to talk about that. Calm down, jeez. I struggle to break out just for you. You can show me a little appreciation. What do you mean you broke out? Pops got mad at me after what happened to Marashi and put me on house arrest. People are all gonna be fucked up too. But he he and his second-hand man stepped out today, so there was a hole in the security detail. I threatened the guy charged the guy charged with me watching me and I finally managed to get away. You're gonna be in hot water later. Yeah, probably. But I couldn't do nothing. I love this face, it's fucking creepy. I've got to get back to the spirits that thought they could get the best of me. I swear on the crest of the Amanome family, I'm going to knock them straight to hell. Amanome. Ami's back safe and sound. There are still major problems that we need to deal with, but I want to celebrate Ami's return for at least one day. Yeah, I feel you. A little big yawn, unsure of what to do now that I actually had time to find myself to change. You sound bored, Akira. Wanna go grab something to eat? No, I can't. Always gonna be here soon, apparently. Always that cop lady, right? What does she want? I glance at the door to the kitchen. Amy's napping in there right now. She seemed fairly energetic, but I'm sure she's exhausted. So I guess we just wait around till then. Wanna kill some time? Yeah. Read the books. There's a writing desk and bookshelves. Not normal to see those in the bar. Aunt Natsumi is a horror author and this is where she writes when she's here in the bar. Oh. Akira, what's that book? It's got some fancy Japanese style binding. Huh? Was that book here before? On top of the desk is an old fashioned book bound in string. The book slightly faded over scarlet, faded cover is scarlet, save for a white rectangle and the author in the title. Agashi no Gi by Yoku Momoroku. Why is Yoku Momoroku's books here? Nakura's that children's author you were talking about, right? So, you know how I mentioned there was a body with the arms of young girls stapled to his body, to it? That was Moroku. He was, he was trained as a doctor. I think he failed and he became a horror author and he became quite popular, but it was clearly because he wasn't very well. Um, so yes, and his and the main character's aunt is also a horror author because she was inspired by Moroku as a young woman. The psycho who killed young girls. Yeah. The maniac who kidnapped girls and turned them into dolls and left them in his mansion. It was Yukumo Moroku. And the title in the Goshi no Gi. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. That's right, it was Aunt Natsumi. She said it on the phone before she collapsed. I went home and looked through Moroku's old works and... It's part of the Nagashi no Gi, the realm of the dead. The reason Moroku victimized those girls is his relationship with Kikuya. If I read these, if I read these, I might be able to find out. Read, read. Hmm. Nagashi no Gi is a short story featuring a certain man as a protagonist. A generation of the man's family performed a rite called Nagashi no Gi. Do you know that there's a guy who actually turned dead girls into dolls? I didn't, but I wouldn't be surprised. To be completely honest, I would not be surprised. The rite was meant to seal doll ship spirit by the name Kaguya. Kaguya. So this is the main antagonist. The lady who stole or kidnapped our younger sister and is playing this game with us. Kaguya played with humans using various games and stole their lives, consciousness. 
but the man's ancestor, who was a spirit medium, caught Kakuya and sealed her in a certain place. He sealed her inside a mirror in a world known as the Realm of the Dead. You right, Mamba? The Nagashi no Gi is a ceremonial rite used to keep Kakuya inside, sealed inside the mirror. When a special doll filled with his spiritual power is given to Kakuya as a playmate, Kakuya becomes satisfied for about 10 years until the doll loses its power. Every 10 years, the doll must be recharged with energy and offered back to Kakuya. That was the duty given to the man's family who descended from the spirit medium. I was reading Cherry's comment. <laughs> After his father's death, the man was also going to inherit that right, as was his family's custom. Reminds me of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh, the old show. I didn't really watch that growing up. I think it was more of a Canadian thing, right? I'm not sure. As long as the rite continued peacefully, Kaguya would never appear in the real world again. Or at least that's how it would have been. But the man lost his spiritual powers in an accident before he had any successes. Canadian slash American. Yes, thank you. They, it's the one where they sit around the campfire, the kids, and tell stories, right? Humanity can be as scary as monsters. Absolutely. It's a sad truth. There's an episode where there's a ghost house. Oh, yeah? You sure uh, you're not living in it? That's the one. Because of that, Nagashi no Gi was unable to be formed. If Kaguya's seal was released, there would be many victims. The man was bound by his duty and devised an alternate method. He took drastic steps to find something to replace his lost powers. Huh. The Nagashi no Gi he devised was to take living girls, make them into dolls, and offer them to Kaguya in the realm of the dead. The pain, regrets, and grudges held by the spirits would be a substitute for his spiritual powers. Just as the man hoped, Kakuya was delighted and remained in the mirror. There was a girl who tried to save another girl who was strapped, trapped, and she was turning into a porcelain doll. Ooh. Wow. I live in a house with ghosts and I still live here to this day. I don't, unfortunately. I, um, I've only kind of a, had one supernatural encounter but to be honest i don't like to talk about it so i don't really talk about it um oof. but yeah the man had turned the nagashi no gi into a blood soaked ritual nevertheless the man continued to fulfill his duty but that was the fate of all those born into the household okay so he, the horror author was descendant from a bunch of spiritualists whose duty it was was to keep Kakuya, the antagonist, satiated. He done fucked up. I had to pause after that part. I think about the bizarre ritual described in the book. If this isn't just fiction, but was based on reality instead, then Wemuroka's murders were they done to seal Kakuya? They were, were indeed 10 years apart. Yeah, once every 10 years, Maroko killed a girl, made her into a doll in order to maintain the seal. But then Maroko died, and now Kaku is free. I don't know exactly what happened, but the seal must have failed. Most of the ghosts hit the pipes to get our attention, and the ghosts hate it when my mum changed the house around. <laughs> oh, I hope I I hope uh, they're not too mean. I keep reading and find details in the right and the realm of the dead. One part of it says... If Kikuya opens a path to the realm of the dead in a mirror, it can be reopened by joining mirrors. Ah, uh, Natsumi must have read this. I read all the way to the end, but nothing else sounds particularly helpful. It doesn't even say what NG is. Damn, what a waste. I slam the book shut and shove it back into the bookshelf. Yeah, I feel you. That book was creepy, man. Sorry I'm late. I'm expecting big things from you today. Huh? You're Abinomi, yeah? Ah, oh, so you're Oe. First time we've actually met, I've heard a ton of rumors about you. I'm sure none of them were good. I don't plan on making friends with a pampered Prince Abinomi family. Work the police, not your pal. Hey now, no need to be so angry. I still like this face a ton. We're not even an official member yet. Anyway, I'm just an investigative, insignificant high schooler. That's rich coming from Mr. Threats himself. His nickname is Mr. Threats. But whatever, we'll put all, all that on pause. I'm not after you right now. Gotta go, hope you see you all again. Uh, Reindeer, thank you for dropping by and hanging out so much today. 
I stream six days a week. The day off I take depends on my work schedule. Um, on days off, I'll stream. I'll stream four hours unless it's like a special event like this. Um, on work days, I'll stream about two hours. But most of it's horror. Take care, Cherry. Thank you for hanging out. Team, we have customers. Owe steps out. Away from Warren, she's sleeping and sees all. Seems all the noise woke her up. He looks up at Owe curiously since she's never met her. Dear Ami, huh? Your brother told me everything. I'm glad you're safe. You don't feel strange or anything, do you? No, I'm fine. I'm just a little tired and sleepy. That's so. You might be suffering from mild dis. dis. dysonomia? What? After all you went through. Hey, Kojima, you should get her checked at a hospital. I can arrange for an appointment for her. Uh, yes, please. As long as you agree. She must be real precious to you. Um, you don't have to worry so much. I'm fine, really, so... It's, it's just to be safe, Ami. Go on, I'll make you worry what brother happy. Hey. Okay, I'll go in for an examination just for you. You guys. That decides it. Let's get going before they stop seeing patients for the day. Jimmy, did you already tell her about Natsumi? Yeah, I told her. Yeah? Let's go visit her while we get at it too. I'm sure she'd be relieved if Ami came to see her. Yeah. We'll all leave the bar. Owe leads us over to the hospital where Aunt Natsumi's staying. After visiting her, Ami goes in, in for her own examination. They decide to keep her at the hospital overnight for the exam. That night, after hospital visiting hours are over, we return to Kasoji Station. A pleasant breeze blows through the area. It's nice and cool out tonight. Are you worried about Ami, Kojima? I checked to make sure the hospital room had no mirrors and a nurse. Just keeping watch on her. She'll be fine, yeah? Yeah. I don't like taking my eyes off her, but she'll probably be fine for now. If Kakuya's gonna kidnap her again, she'd have played the game first. If you're that worried about her, you can go see her first thing in the morning. Anyway, I'm heading home. Tomorrow's gonna be busy and I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm going to go see a forensic researcher and verify. Ooh. The Killer Peach did that, yeah? Let me know if you find anything. I'm not supposed to show investigation material outside as though. You're seriously going to try and pull that card now? You got me there. I'll contact you tomorrow. See ya. Oh, he disappeared towards the t ticket gates. Ah, oh. where'd Aminomi go? He was just here. Guess I'll look for him. Microphone. All right, I'm gonna save. Building by the station with offices and cram schools. Looks like people are still inside at this hour. A few of the rooms still have lights on. Horrible. Aminomi comes walking back from over there. Oh, did Owen leave already? I didn't get to say goodbye. Not that I care. What were you doing? Word got out that I escaped the house. I got a call from my pop, so I figured I'd better answer it. Was he... he wasn't furious. Oh, he was. Just about yelled my ear off. It was annoying, so I hung up on him. It's gonna make it worse. No worries. Pop's has a soft spot, soft spot for me. He might knock me around a bit, but after that, it'll be water under the bridge. Not sure if that's letting you off easy or being harsh. Anyway, you got some time to kill, yeah? Come with me for a bit. What's with all this sudden, of a sudden? I'm stressed after being under surveillance for so long. So I'm gonna let us some steam. I'll treat you, so come with me, alright? Uh, sure. Looks like you're all for it. Well then, let's get going. <laughs> yeah, with that face. We pass through the shopping district by Kisoji Station and arrive at the high class club. Normally, miners wouldn't be allowed inside, but I guess Amanomi's an exception. Are we going to a bar or a strip club? Or both? We grab seats farther inside, and a hostess quickly positions themselves at Aminomi's side. Damn. He eats and drinks for a bit while chatting up the hostesses. Then, as if remembering something, he makes a phone call. After a while, a well-dressed old man comes up to us. Oh, shit. <laughs> Very nice. Aminomi hoists his feet up on the table. Then, as he munches on some fruit, he gazes down at the man kneeling before him. Hey, Rita. You heard what I said, yeah? Yeah, he has. Aminomi's gonna have some kind of dirt on this guy. Sorry, there's a smudge on my glasses. There we 
we go. He smiles submissively at Amanome, a kid who's maybe as old as his own grandson. About the redevelopment of Shinza Station. Mind telling me the bidding price that your company offered? But Mr. Amanome, that's a company secret. Oh, is it right? Is that right? If it's a secret, then I guess I won't keep this a secret. Amanome takes a foot out of his breast pocket. It shows the man walking out of a hotel with a young woman. Cheating on your wife with a horrible guy. I wonder what she'd think. Isn't your daughter about to start middle school? Be a rough time to have to learn about this. Hey Akira. The man remains silent and Amanom returns towards me. What do you think of this scumbag? I guess Amanomi wants me to help threaten this guy. What should I say? I mean, even if I say the wrong thing, it'll only make Amanomi mad. It's no big deal. I'll just say whatever. What do you think of this guy? This is what he deserves. If you were my dad, I'd kick his ass. Right? I'm not grins satisfied. Then he turns back to the man. Hey, Orita, tell me the company's secret, and I'll just keep this little incident here a secret too. Everyone's happy as long as we we'll both stay quiet. But I didn't give you a reward. You're tight on money right now, yeah? Gotta pay off that new building loan you just got, right? What? How do you know about that? I've researched every last little thing about you. And if you're not convinced, maybe you'd like me to tell you what you had for lunch one week ago. The man's expression slowly gives away to despair. Guess I should give him another push. Maybe I'll try butting in. Leave him be, huh? Interesting. I have no idea what they're talking about, so I'll leave this to Amanome. I said to eat fruit and keep to myself. This is delicious. The man looks at me uncomfortably. Yeah. Amanome laughs quietly. But Mr. Amanome, I can't betray my company like that. I'm begging you, please understand. The man starts pleading, but he sounds like he's about to cry. Hey, knock it off already. Amanome coldly looks down at the man's white head. It's business. Either you sell me the information, or I crush you. Pick one. You're supposed to be my elder, aren't you? Don't you have enough experience to know you're not getting out of this by saying please? Give it a rest. Amanomi suddenly yells out. Then he glances over at me. Pick the couch in silence. You got it. Glasses are still smudged as well. Not saying a word, I kick the leather couch over. Yeah. The man shudders as an electrical shock ran through him. I feel kind of bad for him. Alright. Oh, Mr. Amarami, you win. Once the bidding price is fixed, I'll contact you. And in exchange, that photo. Yeah, I know. Once you contact me, I'll take responsibility and dispose of it. And the digital backups. I can trust you, right? Yeah, of course. If there's no one to trust, what's the point of making a deal? And the money? Give me the account information, I'll send it. Hope you're looking forward to it. Okay. Cunning. The man finishes talking with Amanome and quickly leaves as he's fleeing a crime scene. Okay. That was a huge success. I didn't think it'd go that well. That was a good performance, Akira. Thanks. After a while, Amanome and I leave the club. I have no clue how much it cost. I just took Amanome up on his offer and let him handle it all. That tune is Mama Karusi's Wonder Rabbits. Why is he? He's having so much fun singing that I didn't want to interrupt, but I guess I should stop him. Hey, Amanome. How about? You like that song? Yeah, it's a good song. 
I don't care about Momo Karusi at all, but I love Wonder Rabbits. I sing to myself when I'm in a good mood. You got some strange tastes for Ikuzu kid. Why are you so prejudiced? Momo Karusi, Hazuki, still in a coma. I wonder when she'll be able to sing Wonder Rabbits again. Quit scowling, Akira. Once the Yakuza thing is dealt with, both her and Natsumi will be healed. I know. I guess it was obvious what I was thinking about. Oh shit, thank you, Silent. Fuck. I'm not used to that. Delicious. Oh shit, Rain, thank you. Thank you, Silent. I'm not used to having that stupid thing now. Like my biddies. Thank you, Rain. How are you doing? How are you doing, Silent and Rain? Are you doing well? Rain, would you like to voice some characters on this game with me? I'll probably only play it for like another hour and 15 minutes. But would you like to give it a try? You can as well if you'd like, Silent. I'm good. And you? Uh, I'm doing alright, man. Um, had a long stream today. We streamed with much, as you know, for about eight hours. I think we played like... Four hours of Among Us, man. It's fucking crazy. Sorry, dude. I gotta set up now. Just lurking while I get... Hey, no worries, Rain. Thank you so much, dude. You take care, okay? And thank you for the biddies. So we may as well pie up tonight. Akira, how about my bar? I'll pass. I'm getting tired. Hey, what are you, a toddler? It's barely past midnight. Shut up. I didn't get much sleep yesterday. Yeah, I guess you've had it rough recently. I suppose we'll call it a night. To be continued after we avenge Marahashi and Natsumi recovers. That sounds good. Then I'll be able to empty my head and laugh it up like a moron with you. I'm in a call at the moment, testing out a mod pack. Hey, no worries, Silent. No worries. Thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Who knows when that'll be, though? Not too far off, man. We'll finish this before summer break's over. That's right. Is it summer break right now? I've been so busy, I totally forgot. Wait, seriously? Well, I guess you've always had a one-track mind. We bet most of our classmates are studying their asses off for the entry exams right about now. Seems unreal. I guess it's because my personal reality's been messed up. Delicious. Shit, Rain. Sorry. Hate that my... That I'm my not top three. Wait, what's up, Rain? You weren't top three? Is that what you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. <laughs> There we go. Thank you again, Rain. Thank you. Things like summer break and school that are normal for everyone else seem totally alien. Our this is finally over. Will I even be able to return to my old life? Alright, let's split up. We'll meet up again tomorrow afternoon. I'll go with you to see Ami. What are you going to do now? Go home? Not a chance. When I go back, I'm going to be under surveillance again. Much better. Puts feet up. <laughs> I'll stay, stay in some random hotel until all this is finished. You could stay at my place. <laughs> yeah, hard one on that. The place is all cramped and smelly. It might be fine for a tough guy like you, but for someone refined like myself, it's impossible. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Do whatever you want. Thanks for the offer, though. All right. Good night. Thank you. Thank you both. I'm going to head to the ticket gates. Guess I'll head back, too. Ditched me, huh? My apartment has a mirror that connects to the realm of the dead. It feels weird to sleep in a place with something like that sitting in it, but after all I've gone through, this is nothing. Just smash the mirror. You've, I've survived all, all this long. I don't know about the other spirits, but Kakuya wants to play a game with me. So she probably won't harm me directly. That's what I've decided to think anyway. I realize it's a pretty bold stance to take, I'll say. I eat some food and take a hot shower and then start getting ready for bed. I think I'll be able to sleep well for once. Let's go to bed. Collapsing in the bed, I shut my eyes. Maybe because I haven't been getting much sleep, but my consciousness quickly melts into darkness. No, sleep sounds really good right now. Yes, please, I'll save the game. Go to Moon Tower, huh? I meet up with the Amanome around noon, and we head to the hospital where Ami's staying. While Amanome keeps Ami company, the doctor explains her diagnosis to me. Ami's body is healthy, but she f they found some small irregularities in her brainwaves. You mentioned something about alpha or beta waves, but I can't make sense of it. 
You okay, honey? He says he wants to do more thorough exams, so I'll keep Abby another night. Abby isn't happy to hear that, of course. Good evening, Amanomi and I return to Kisoji Station. When we leave the building, the summer sun's blinding rays shine down on us. The sun's way too bright today, this heat makes me want to kill somebody. Kira, let's get to the Black Rabbit, I'm feeling like a fried egg. Yeah. We're into the Black Rabbit, hurrying along as we flee from the sun. We crank up the air conditioning and pass the time drinking and talking about nothing. Always coming by tonight. Apparently she got a verdict on the report of the cause of the fire. Sorry I'm late. Be patient, someone else has got the details. Ugh, oh, I feel awful. Middle-aged guys like me are not cut out for this heat. Hey Kojima, looks like you're doing well. I'm sure you missed me yesterday. You guys are working together? Yeah, well I've been really curious about the report on the case of the fire, cause of the fire too. So got her to tell me the results early. Thanks to my curiosity, now I gotta do even more work. I make it a habit to use whoever's handy. Apparently this extra work is always doing. The so banner I will be taking our leave. I'd have loved to chat with you more, but if I don't hurry, I'll miss the bullet train. Where in the world are you going? Out west on a business trip involving Killer Peach. OA can give you more details. Let's go, Ban. Ban and Rose hurriedly leave. Talk about coming and going like a tempest. That hottie with the body was Rose, yeah? Too bad I didn't get to introduce myself. But hopefully that all goes well. It involves Killer Peach. What kind of order was it? Oh, sorry, my nose is itchy. For that, I'll tell you more about this. Oh, he takes a million document out of her pocket. Ah, why is it so itchy? Here, I'll give it back to you. Bad report. Got forensic researchers to check out the parts and we're the black end and unreadable. Is this game a bit loud? Maybe I'll just do that. Maybe it's just for me, I don't know. You mean that thing Killer Peach Okayama talked about on the tape recorder? I've never heard about it before. No surprise there, it happened 10 years ago already. We were not those brats back then. We weren't interested in the news. Now that I think of it, Akira, that's about the time I met you, huh? Was it? I don't remember at all. Hey. You're talking, detective. So what kind of fire was it? Oh, we fall silent for a while and begins to speak in a hus hushed voice. I thought she said husband. Momoi department store was an old store in front of Shinza Station. Ten year go years ago, a fire shut it down. Then the Samui group bought it, demolished it, and built Moon Tower right on that very spot. That's how they're related. That's probably why the floor of the department store appeared outside the elevator. It must be a supernatural effect caused by a spirit like the Maroka residence. The fire happened on the fifth floor in the toy department. Toy department caught fire. On the news, they speculated that an electrical malfunction in the lights caused it. Whatever the cause was, more than 20 people lost their lives that fire. Most of the victims were families. It was just before Christmas, so they'd probably gone to buy presents. That's some horrible timing. Yeah. Yeah. At least that's what reported on the news 10 years ago. But that isn't the truth. The report made that very clear. The blackened parts had info on the true cause of the fire and the state of the scene. The true cause. On the floor at the scene of the incident, they found traces of gasoline. So it was arson. Exactly. The conditions of the scene leave no room for doubt. The news probably got fed some false info and the evidence got suppressed. Now the question is, who is behind all that? But you can probably guess based on what you heard from Okiyama's voice recorder. Okiyama was trying to ask Noboru Ishimura, the president of the Sumui group, about the fire. She's probably suspicious about the truth behind the fire and Ishimura's relation to it. Okiyama lost her husband and son in the fire. She went after Ishimaru to get revenge and was killed. If Killer Peach had the report on her, then it means Okiyama must have found it somewhere. She's a member of the Diet, so she must have had connections to get it. That's some obsession. If she went to those lengths to get the report, she'd probably be the type to hold on after death. Her family died after all. I can't say I don't understand her fears and persistence to get the truth. 
May I ask you something? You say the cause of the fire was awesome, but was the culprit ever found? No, not yet. It wasn't written in the report either, but it must have been someone with a messed up head. What makes you say that? According to the report, there was a gun found at the scene of the fire, but most of the victims were burnt to death. If they wanted to kill them, they could have just shot them, but it was specifically burned them. And most of the burnt corpses they found were chained together. What are those for? Well, how should I know? I'll have them watch each other. And the one that sounds pretty occult too. What do you mean by occult? Well, the arsonist may have been trying to play the Demon Sukiyomi game. Wait, did you just say Demon Sukiyomi? All coming together. Uh, actually, do you know anything about the Demon Sukiyomi? No, I've never heard of it before. What is it? I don't know. I just remember Kikuya talking about it. I'm sure of it. I mean, you mentioned that earlier. What? There it is. It's the curse awakening again. A whisper comes from somewhere. It's time for a tale. A demon Sukiyomi. Please come here. Not over yet, huh? But this time it's different. The game always starts when Kikuyu tells me the name of the spirit. But this time Kikuyu hasn't shown herself yet. Damn it, I have no idea what's going on. I suddenly feel my consciousness drifting away and instinctively hold my head. Akira, what's the matter? It's the curse. Kikuyu's curse is back. No way, but you saved Dami. How should I know what Kikuyu's deal is? All I know is I'll be in real trouble if I don't do something about the demons who give me by today. What? Yeah, I guess you've got to act before we think right now. He's five this long, so I'm sure it'll all work out this time too. Hey, detective, tell us everything you know about the damn to Demon Sukiyomi game. Uh, all right. Then I'll tell you what I know. Demon of Sukiyomi. The Demon Sukiyomi game was a real popular one middle school at the time. If you found a certain ritual, supposedly a ghost called Demon Sugiyomi would appear and grant any wish. No one really knows what Demon Sugiyomi itself is supposed to be. Some say it's the name of a taken from Japanese god of moon Sugiyomi. Apparently because it only shows up on nights when there's a moon. The concept is kind of similar to Kokori, Kokuri, game of the Ouija board. Ooh. Ooh. The Demon Sugiyomi game ritual has been done on a night when there's a moon. To summon him, you need... Canes, something to burn, and two hand mirrors. First, you place the chain down like you're surrounding yourself. The area sectioned off by the chain is supposed to be like the altar of the ritual. Next, you take your offering and burn it in the altar. You can put anything you want, but its value has got to be proportional to the size of your wish. If your wish isn't granted, then it means the thing you burnt isn't valuable enough. Fuck. Once you light the thing on fire, you gotta reset a spell to summon the demon Sukiyomi before it burns up. Please oh. grant my wish. Once you finish the spell, there's one last thing. You gotta use the two hand mirrors and join them together. Interesting. And the demon Sukiyomi will appear. And that's everything I know about it. Ah, oh, this sounds a little different from the rumors we've heard about the other spirits. It doesn't even mention anyone dying. Between the chains on the fire, it all lines up pretty well in the arson case, which means the arsonist was trying to perform the demon Sukiyomi ritual. That's just one explanation. No one but the arsonist knows for sure. So Kojima, what are you going to do? Go to Moon Tower. <laughs> Go to Moon Tower. Got any reason for that? The, ele the one elevator turned back time. Only a spirit can do that. Something similar happened with the Muroka Residence too. The elevator's still doing that. That means something's still there. And it just might be the demon Sugiyomi. I get ya. Alright, wanna go going then? If that department store the elevator goes is the scene from the night of the fire. There might be chains left there so we can try out the demon Sugiyomi game. Interesting. 
and decided I'll be going with you as a plate. Obviously, it's my job to protect you after all. You have to fix that ghost allergy of yours before you make claims like that. <laughs> I feel like I've come a long way compared to how I was when this all started. Yeah, that's fair. Table problems. Table management. There we go. If we're going to Moon Tower, we'll need to prepare first. Ban's not with us this time, so we can't use the same trick we did before. By the way, what do you ask Ban and Rose to do? Just some minor business. Minor business? I thought they were involved to kill a peach. I sent them to Atama, where Okayama's house is. After Okayama died, her personal belongings were sent to her house. I wanted to find out what was in there. If there's a notebook, we might learn something about Killer Peach or the arson case. I can't believe they were fine with being awed around like that. When I told Ban I'd be a good scoop, he was all for it. And I introduced Rose to a nice hot spring inn, which got her real interested real fast. Oh, for my voice. I have been doing like a 10 hour stream. So my voice boxes are... Oh. They won't be able to help me with the investigation tonight. Enjoy the stream. Yo, take care, Rain. Thank you so much for hanging out, my man. <laughs> fuck. 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 <laughs> take care, dude. Fox. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. Rain is a Digi-Destin, by the way. If you like Digimon, check him out. So how are we going to sneak into Moon Tower, then? I'm going to take a page out of Ban's book. I better get going then. Come to Moontown in about two hours. How you doing, Mambo? You good? Oh, he leaves the bar after the cryptic remark. Well, we've got some time to kill. Wanna get a bite to eat, Akira? Apparently there's a new traditional style place by Shinza Station. Like you're interested. Even if it's just for free food. You know it. I would always like a fancy restaurant. Mind blowing. I would have preferred more meat. Hmm. How are you doing, Mambo? Are you good? Oh, ice cream, dude. What flavor, man? Two hours after I split with OA, I arrive at Shinza Station. It's Friday night, but weirdly, there aren't many people out. When I miss Detective, will do. It's OA. I don't even know. Not sure if that one's for me. I like mint. I don't know, I like banana and chocolate, but mint banana, holy crap. Delicious. I'm at Moon Tower. Yeah, good timing. Just finished persuading him. Persuading, is it? I just had a nice long chat with the head of security who banned bribed is all. I don't know if you didn't listen to what I said, I'd haul him from breach of trust. He simmered down real quick after that. <laughs> You're really a shady cop. What was I supposed to do? We don't have a lot of options here. Anyway, the back door's unlocked. Get inside. I'll be waiting on the roof. Got something I want to show you. I like ice cream flavors, honestly. Hey, no I like ice cream. I'm not sure if cherry or vanilla's for me. Uh, it's been a while since I ice cream, though. Should have some soon. I should have some banana ice cream. You like them all. Oh, I see. I should definitely have some banana ice cream soon. I really want some now. Okay, meet you there. Seems all obstacles have been removed. Time to march into battle, Akira. Even this late at night, the asphalt, the asphalt is still hot as I head toward Moon Tower. You deserve it. Dude, my voice box deserves it after today. <laughs> no one's in sight, so I slip in the back door. But I don't really... Here's the thing, right? I don't really do anything extraordinary, right? It's not like I have any, like, talents or whatever. And I can't make things. The most I can do is, like, ho like host, quote-unquote, events, like, promotional stuff. And, um, and play difficult games with, like, added challenge. That's about all I can do. And I can make, I, other than that, I can be, like, a gateway for people to enjoy horror games through. That's, that's, that's all I got. I just gotta make the most of it, I guess. Unlike outside, it's cool in here. Guess the air conditioner still running. Oh. Doctor said she'd be on the roof, yeah? Who knows what she wants us what she wants to show us, but we better get a move on.
and go to the roof. Text. Oh, I'm gonna be tired, tired as hell tomorrow. Oh, forget this guy. I'm gonna be so tired later on. To the roof, please. Press right. Oh. Well, this is nice. I like those. The roof moon tower is open terrace. It's cloudy tonight, but if it wasn't, we'd be probably get a great view of the star sky. Looking down at the lowly peons from this high. Who exactly are those lowly peons? We finally made it. Pretty nice spot, isn't it? Pretty fond of it, so I came up here now and then. I come up here now and then. You come here for a reason? Well, you know. So what are you mating on the roof for? This. Plants down at always feet. Stands by the only bare patch of ground. There's a stone monument in the centre. Uh. Ooh. A bunch of letters are engraved in the stone smooth that surface. On one end, in large letters, it reads Momoe Department Store Fire Victim Memorial. Apparently, this is a memorial. The victims of the Momoe, Momoe Department Store Fire. After a paragraph controlling the dead, there's a list of names. Going down the list, there's some names look familiar Kenji Okayama, Momotaro Okayama. This is Killer Peach's Tamoki Kamaya's Okoyama's husband and son. Okoyama had been trying to discover the truth behind the fire that killed her family, and she was killed for it. Oh. As I keep reading, my eyes snag on a group of names. Their last name. Tuburoi Oe, Yuki Oe, Hiroki Oe. There's always on the list, aren't they? Yeah, it's just what you think. My parents and my little brother. Their names are here then. They died in the department store five, ten years ago. Yeah, that's right. They went to the Momoi department store before Christmas to buy my little brother a present. I'd made plans to play at a friend's house, so I didn't go with them. Thanks to that, I was saved. And is that why you're so rash when it comes to the Moon Tower case? Pretty much. I knew Diet Woman Okiyama was chasing the truth behind the fire, and that president of the Sumui Noboru Ishimaru was keeping a close eye on her. And Okayama up and vanished, and Sumi folks had to vi had to be behind it. Thought I could learn something by investigating them under the guise of the Killer Peach case. Never expected Okayama to be Killer Peach. Quirks a weary smile, no surprise. This case took a left turn far outside the jurisdiction of regular detectives. Both Okayama and I lost family in that fire, so I understand Killer Peach's grudge. But I'm a member of the police, I can't accept her approach. I need to stop her no matter what, so I want to pursue the truth using just means in her place. Just means her. You do realize this investigation goes totally evil, right? C quit being fussy. I saw Oe get cut down by Killer Peach. Her recklessness back then pissed me off, but when I think about how she's likely been comparing herself to Killer Peach, I guess it was only natural. By the way, about this memorial, why is it. Why is this one spot scratched out? Among the ordered list of their names in the memorial, one appears to be scratched out. Oh that, probably some nasty prank or something one day. It was just suddenly like that. Whose name was there? No clue. They reportedly mentioned that there were 25 people. There was no personal info on them. Reports said the cause of the fire was arson and the victims had been connected changed. It all happened 10 years ago, and how did it connect to the demon Sugiyomi? I have to go back into the past and find out. Well, we're done here. Let's get moving. We're right here to the Momoi department store. We'll take the special elevator on the first floor. Right. Oh, I can feel myself getting tired. Ooh. 
Tired, tired, tired. Tired, tired, tired. Turtle, turtle, turtle. No. Punch the button, the elevator's not responding. I tap the button over and over, but the doors don't open. The elevator isn't coming. Let me see, maybe you pushed it wrong. The guy's pushing the button himself, but it still doesn't respond. Pushing it wrong, he pushes in. That's all it does. Ugh. Symbols are clanging together somewhere. Mixed is what sounds like faint clockwork. Really screeching like a baby before. This is how the next boss of the Amanomis is like when you're in a world of trouble. It's not my fault. Guess no snappy comeback for him. Guess I better find the source of the sound. I think it's coming over there. Uh, move around the right side of the other ways. What? Press down. Move around the right side between the elevators. I do not like that sound, by the way. Okay, so I can't move yet. Ah, that's what it means. Whoa. Hey, would you keep it down? What do you do if the security catches wind of us? I thought you convinced them. I'd rather avoid as much trouble as we can. Who knows what'll happen? Good point. It's as if nothing had just happened. I grabbed the griddle toy off the floor. Mine now. You can't have it. Press left and examine the bottom panel. A noise, loud noise, shaking, but just as suddenly as it starts, it stops. Oh, the lights go out. Did it break? Hey, did it really break on us? Oh, it's all back now. I guess it wasn't broken. Faulty wiring, I guess. Kira, uh, oh, over there. Look over where he's pointing. I look over where he's pointing. The rabbit plushie hangs from the ceiling. I don't remember seeing it earlier. I wasn't there when I got on right. Probably just fell from the ceiling when we stopped so suddenly. I'm always in slack George shock, but I ignore him. He hangs the toy down and said nothing happened. Mind now, you can't have it. Oh, hi there. We're just getting like a collection of toys. If we step out into the hall, the girl's laughter suddenly echoes down it. Laughter now, it's here. What in the world is going on in this building? Was that doll here before? I look where Amano is pointing and see an old, worn doll. No. I slowly shake my head. All these supernatural things happening one after another is really creepy. Murring under my breath, I'll stump over and pick up the creepy doll. Why not? If only to shut the thing up. Not mine, which means... It's like it's mine. Excuse me for a sec. Yes, yeah, me, Oe. Oh, Ban. Hey there. So you got Okiyama's belongings, huh? Good thing Ishimaru didn't get his hands on him. She stepped away, but she's so loud that I can hear what's going on. Find a notebook or diary, look through every last bit of it. Maybe we'll figure out why Ishimaru and Sumi covered up that fire. Alright, I'll let you get to it. So that's what's going on. I had Ban and Rose go check it out for me. We'll get a call if there are any developments. Alright, let's get to the special elevator. Okay, I'm not tired at all. I'm not tired. Ooh. I got this. I already reached to the higher ups. My fingerprint should be edited by now. It's whether will it send us in the past or not. Don't know until we try. I'm so tired. Oh, so tired. Shakes violently. That voice sucks. Stop it. Don't do that again. That an earthquake? What the heck has it happened? That voice. The earthquake and the voice. I recall what happened from Moon Tower before. 
It's happened the last time I went to the past too. Huh? Then you're saying we've arrived at Yeah, most likely. Yeah, silent it sucks. There is phenomena sucks terrible sound. The elevator starts to move again, and when it stops, it lets us out on an unknown floor. The doors open, I step out. <sighs> Guess it still works. We're really in the past right now? Sure this isn't the present? Look, he's a freak squirt. My entire ain't got us a shopping area. No way. We've seriously gone back into the past. Oops. What if this... This is the past, there's a problem. Owe was killed by Killer Peach. What's the matter? You're not one to stand around thinking. Time to explain what I've been here since twice. Been here twice before, and on my last investigation, and both times Owe died. Are you saying it might happen again? Worrying about maybes won't get us anywhere. Who knows if the demon will appear unless we look. So let's go. Speaking of, I have a question before we proceed. Just what is the red thing on the floor? Gunpowder? Probably a flare. Mentioned in the report. This flare was used in the incident. Before, if you want to burn something, all you need is gasoline to spark, right? Theory in the report said, culprit first caused a flick fire, a fake fire with flares. Then they guided all the panicking customers to somewhere where they could detain them. Crafty asshole. Yeah, I'm safe. Because I'm so, so tired. So, so tired. Press up. Sense presence in the dark. Spinning the flashlight around towards it reveals. Ooh. You again? Didn't we appease you? Killer Beach is lying in wait for me. Wait a second, it's Killer Peach, isn't it? I thought you defeated her, Akira. Time's been turned back. Killer Peach vanished, but the strange form haven't stopped. So it's not her doing after all. Damn, I'll think about it later. Right now, I've got to do something about her. Killer Peach sways as she walks towards me. <sighs> There's no way I could use the same method I did last time. I don't have the tools. Got to think another way. I know the truth behind the grudge now. I need to let her know that somehow. But if I stay, say anything wrong, she'll cut me down. Aye, she will. Show the fire report. Like you gotta empathize with them and, and let them know that you're not a villain. You gotta woo the ghost to win. Hey look, it's the fire department from the Momoi department store. I thrust the report out in front of her and kill Peach shows. It may be me imagining it, but it seems like she's not sure what to do. What have you... do you have? All of her eyes swivel to focus me. Her stare pierces me to the bones. It's clear she'll cut me in any lie. Because I defeated you. Why do you have? Yeah, it's true. I'm so tired. <laughs> you defeated me? Yeah, I did. I defeated you, and that's how I got this report. I'm using it to investigate the truth behind the department store fire. Truth? Investigating the truth. That's what you, what you did when you were alive. What I did when I was alive. And you didn't just want revenge on Samui, you wanted to know the truth behind the fire that killed your family no matter what, right? Investigating the truth? There is no falsehood in those words. I meant every word. After a long moment of breathless silence. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, golly gosh. I don't know how we survived that, but we did. Man, how were, we so, how were you so calm? You know, I threw up, I was worried we'd die. Something's over there. 
Dana, the katana killer peach used lies on the ground at the spot where she disappeared. Sounds like it's getting real close to nap time. It's getting. What, what is it they say in the film? Uh, sun's getting real low. Thank you for the posture check, Silent. I'm definitely very tired. Don't die, says Mambo. Thank you for the good wishes, dude. I'm playing it with a with a walkthrough, because the thing is, it's quite easy to die in this game, and if you do, you have to like slog through tech. Well, you can just speed it up, but like it's just kind of a bit of an inconvenience. That means she's leaving the rest up to you. But like, if I'd chosen the wrong message on that, I probably like would have died. Like right then and there. How should I know? Well, things the way they are, it may come in handy. Thank you for the silent, the po spine, spine. I pretend I didn't see you taking the legal weapon for now. Hand it over when we leave, though. Better, I'm not planning on getting much future use with it. Should I? Should I wrap this up at half past, which is in like eight minutes, or should I push it for the last hour, like just get the last hour done? I am freaking tired though. So I'm inclined just to try and like do the next nine minutes or so. I step out into the wide burnt area. It looks like the fire was the worst here. Walls, floors, ceiling, everything charred and pitch black. Come to the report, this children's plaza was where the first died. It used to be a play area with equipment. There are chairs on the ground. This is where the Demon Tsukiyomi ritual happened. Probably everything points to it, but that's also if it was even done at all. Papama, oh my god, Hyphy is doing a, a thing, got a tell I'm in. Yo, what's Hyphy on with? She okay? Is it, is she alright? Kind of having a look, see. Trying to find Hyphy. I hope she's okay. Oh, she's playing like Phasmophobia. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Right, right, right. I thought, like, I was worried. I was like, is, is everything okay? Ask Santa for my Christmas presents, okay? Promise I'm waiting. Again? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> good, 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 good. Damn it, how could they cut it out already? How many supernatural things does it make them now? I've lost track. Well, just ignore it. Let's look around. Fuck my shoulder. I mean, not yet, lol. <laughs> I think, guys, I think I might just call it here.